Well, first, I came up with an interview technique that I feel like really worked well, and that um, which was first I would interview people just kind of as you're taught and as you read in the books. You know, you add, you ask very broad, open-ended questions. You know, what happened? What did it look like? What happened next? You know, just really sort of broad questions, and you let I let the other person talk. Then I interviewed, um, you know, Cheering and Passong again and said, okay, now tell me what, you know, was that in your left hand and your right hand? Wait, can you show me how that was done? Okay, wait, let me get that, let me, let me take a video of you doing that again so I can describe it. And, um, and really just kind of did the interview like three or four times, just getting more and more finer, finer, finer detail. And then, the bottleneck of K2, since it's one of the most dangerous and deadly places in the world, it's really well documented. I mean, there are lots of videos, there are lots of photos, there are lots of people who talk about it. Um, and I had those people, I couldn't get there. I mean, the mountain kills so many people. I was, I was, I'm just not a capable enough climber that takes years and years of training. But I went similar places, so I could not just um, you know, not just rely on the photos, but get something similar to being there. And then I talked to other people who'd gone there and said, you know, what did you notice? And then I would go back to cheering in Pasong and I would say, hey, was this the case? And so that, I think that was one of the keys. And I tried to make it as sensory as possible because I feel like, you know, I want people to see this. I want them to hear it. And the more you can you can you can turn your writing into something sort of amorphous into something that is visual the more the more compelling it is and so i really tried to make it as sensory as possible thank you for listening please review our other available content for help writing publishing and marketing your book if you have any questions about the author learning center please contact us by email at author support at authorlearningcenter.com